Vendor credit, the secret ingredient for any business to start to get approved for real business credit. How do you really start the business credit building process? Just because you have a social security number doesn't mean that you have a credit profile. For example, every child in this country is born with a social security number, but they don't actually establish credit for that social security number until they apply for new credit, are approved, and that credit is reported to the personal credit reporting agencies. When credit is applied for, approved, and reported, then, and only then, will that individual have established credit. Once accounts are reported to the consumer agencies, including Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, after six months, FICO will then issue that consumer an actual credit score. Here's a deeper look at the process. First, credit is applied for. Second, the applicant is approved for credit that reports to the credit reporting agencies. Thirdly, the credit is reported and trade lines are now established. Fourthly, as multiple accounts are reported, a credit profile is established. Finally, due to the reporting of trade lines and establishment of a credit profile, enough information is now available for a credit score to be issued. Now that we've looked at how the process works, let's look deeper into how it starts. Somebody who has no trade lines reporting has no credit profile or score established. So if this person was to walk into a bank and try to get a credit card, car loan, mortgage, or other financing, their credit would be pulled. But due to a lack of credit, they would be denied financing, all types of financing. If the same person walked in and applied for store credit like Staples, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Target, or other retailers, they would also be denied for the same reason, a complete lack of credit. But, if that same person obtained a secured card or two and waited until those accounts reported, then they would have reported trade lines, an established credit profile, and an established credit score. So if they now went into a store to get credit with their established credit profile and score, if they paid their bills as agreed, they should get approved. But if they went into their bank to get a $5,000 credit card, they would still probably be declined because they don't yet have enough established business credit. Fundamentally, consumer and business credit work exactly the same way. Just because you have an employment identification number does not mean you have established credit, just the same as you won't have established consumer credit just because you have a social security number. So if you do walk into a bank and try to get cash credit using your EIN with no credit established, you'll always get denied, guaranteed. That is unless you did have good personal credit and used it to get approved while supplying your personal guarantee. This is why so many people fail building business credit. They apply for the wrong type of credit first, get denied, then are convinced that business credit doesn't work. If you apply for credit with stores and banks and have no established credit profile for your employment identification number, you will be denied financing. Consumer and credit building are just that, the building of credit. You can't start with the roof. You have to start with the foundation first to build off of. So you can't start with store or cash credit from your bank. If you do, you'll get denied 100% of the time. First, you must build trade lines that report. Then, you'll have an established credit profile. Then, you'll obtain a business credit score. And finally, with an established business credit profile and score, you can start getting revolving store and cash credit. Let's look at some well-known companies' business credit. Here you can see that Facebook already has 40 business credit trade lines established with Experian. Microsoft now has over 130 business credit trade lines established with Experian. Apple has 138 business credit trade lines established with Experian. Walmart gets 80% of their company cash injection from business credit, which is why they have a whopping 513 trade lines reporting to Experian now. Every highly successful company in the United States has business credit. 
Walmart, for example, has a high credit limit of $50 million reporting. But none of these companies started at that limit and were given this many trade lines. All of them followed a process to establish their corporate credit, and that credit grew with them as their business grew. Let's look at some of the most well-known entrepreneurs. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Richard Bronson. Obviously, none of them were recently personally guaranteeing their business debts. When they went out and got a credit line, they didn't need to provide their social security number and personally guarantee the debt to get approved. Many people might think that they get credit because they're big companies. But the reality is the issuing of credit doesn't work this way and never has. These entrepreneurs get credit without a personal guarantee because their company's credit can stand on its own, not just because they have an EIN. The real key to getting business credit is to establish a solid credit profile and score that can stand on its own, so you don't need to supply your social security number. Once you do this, your business can then be approved for credit with no PG or credit check, just like every other highly successful company in this country. So how do you really start a business credit profile? Most consumer credit starts with secured credit cards or an account that has a well-established cosigner. But cosigned accounts and secured accounts really aren't popular or widely used in the business world. Most business credit starts with vendor accounts instead. Vendor accounts are accounts that typically offer terms such as net 30 instead of revolving. So if you get approved for $1,000 in vendor credit and use all $1,000 of it, you'd need to pay that money back in a set term, such as within 30 days on a net 30 account. A net 30 account would need to be paid in full within 30 days. In contrast, a net 60 account would need to be paid in full within 60 days. Unlike with revolving accounts, you have a set time you must pay back what you borrowed or the credit you used. A net 30 account would need to be paid in full within 30 days. In contrast, a net 60 account would need to be paid in full within 60 days. Unlike with revolving accounts, you have a set time you must pay back what you borrowed or the credit you used. So to start your business credit profile the right way, you need to get approved for vendor accounts that report to the business credit reporting agencies. Once you've done this, you can then use the credit pay back what you used, and the accounts get reported to Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, or Equifax. Once reported, then you have trade lines, an established credit profile, and an established credit score. Using your newly established business credit profile and score, you can then get approved for store credit and eventually cash credit without needing to supply your SSN or personal guarantee. This is possible because now your EIN credit profile is established and can stand on its own. So if you leave your social security number off of the application, the credit issuer then pulls your EIN credit, sees a solid profile and score, and can then approve you for real revolving credit. One thing to keep in mind is that when you follow the correct steps to building business credit, not all retailers will approve you just because of your credit profile and score. Some sources, such as Home Depot or Radio Shack, also have a time and business requirement, possibly requiring you to be in business one to three years to get no personal guarantee credit. Some sources, such as Home Depot, might require you meet certain revenue requirements for no personal guarantee credit also. But most retailers will approve you without these requirements. So now you know that any business can get business credit. But before you start getting revolving credit at stores and cash visa type credit from sources like banks, you first must have trade lines reported. So basically, you need credit to get credit, the oh-so-popular lending paradox that so many people get lost in. But there's no need to get lost or stuck. Building business credit is actually quite simple once you understand that there is a path you must follow, a certain order of credit to apply for. Once you follow this order and get your profile and score started, then more and more sources will issue you more and more credit. When you have 10 or more trade lines, the real world of business credit opens up and you get the big reward. But without question, getting your initial credit is the hardest part.
We now know that we need vendor accounts to start a business credit profile and score. You'll actually need a total of five payment experiences reported to start getting revolving store credit. A payment experience is the reporting of an account to a business credit reporting agency. So if you get approved with a vendor who reports to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian, that would count as two payment experiences. If that account only reported to DNB, that would be one payment experience. You'll need five payment experiences to start getting approved for revolving store credit cards using your EIN only for approval. These are credit cards at places like Best Buy, Lowe's, Staples, Amazon, Dell, Apple, Walmart, and so on. You'll then need a total of 10 payment experiences to get approved for cash credit, such as Visa and MasterCard type credit. And to get that cash credit, you'll also need to have one of those payment experiences have a $10,000 limit or higher, at least to start getting nice limits on the cash credit you secure. Now you're starting to uncover the secret formula for business credit building. So let's revisit what not to do. Don't apply for store credit first. You'll get denied. Don't start with cash or bank credit first. You'll get denied. Don't put your SSN on the application to start your business credit building. They'll pull your personal credit and require a personal guarantee. To build business credit the right way, you must first start with vendor accounts. Then when you have the necessary reported payment experiences, you can move on to store credit next, followed by cash credit. You can get vendor credit immediately, starting now. It'll take those accounts 30 to 90 days to report, giving you a profile and score. With that profile and score, you can then start getting store credit. And in a total of about four to six months after starting the process, then you can start to get cash credit. 90% of vendors in this country do not report the credit they issue you. This is why so many business owners think they have established business credit when they don't. So you'll need to find vendors who do report to the business credit reporting agencies. This is the hardest and most challenging part of building business credit. But once you get past this major hurdle, it's much easier to take the rest of the steps to get corporate credit. Let's take a look at some true starter vendors. You must start a business credit profile and score with starter vendors. Starter vendors are ones who will give you initial credit even if you have no credit, no score, or no trade lines now. Most stores like Staples will not give you initial starter credit, so don't even try applying. Take a look at some actual, true starter vendors. Laughlin Associates. They deal with corporate setup and compliance. They report to Experian. Only 411 listing and EIN number are required for approval. Their accounts reports to the business bureaus in 30 to 60 days. And they offer net 30 terms. Credit Terra is another true starter vendor account. They provide both business and personal credit monitoring. They report to Experian and DNB. They currently have no approval requirements. They report to the business bureaus in 180 days. And they offer net 30 terms. Quill Office Supplies is a popular starter vendor. Quill offers office, packaging, and cleaning supplies. They report to DNB. You must place initial order first unless DNB score is established. Usually, they put you on a 90-day prepayment schedule initially before approving you for net 30 terms. If you order items each month for three months, they typically will approve you for a net 30 account. Gemplers is a starter vendor that sells work supplies and products. They report to DNB. You'll need to place an initial order over $50 and select the Invoice Me option. They will pull your business credit. If you are not approved, prepay for your order and keep purchasing and choosing the Invoice Me option until you get approved for a Net30 account. Reliable Office Supplies sells office supplies and promotional products. They report to DNB, Experian, and Equifax. To get approved, 
place an initial order, then request your order be invoiced or billed to your company. They will pull your business credit. If you are not approved, keep ordering and requesting to be invoiced or billed. The more orders you place, the better your chance of being approved for net 30 terms. Uline Shipping Supplies sells shipping, packing, and industrial supplies. They report to D&B. You must have your DUNS number for approval. They will ask for two references and bank reference. Your first few orders might need to be prepaid to initially get approved for net 30 terms. Monopolize Your Marketplace sells you everything you need to know about marketing and business in a 10 audio CD set. They report to Experian. They are a true starter account. Upon checkout, choose four equal payments of $59.99 option. Your first charge takes place in 30 days. You'll need a bank account, EIN number, and deliverable address to get approved. Allow 30 to 60 days for reporting to the business bureaus. Remember, you'll need a total of five vendor accounts to start getting store credit. We just supplied you 10, double what you'll need, so you have plenty to get started with. Find the credit you want, apply without using your SSN, get approved, start using your credit, and pay your bills early. If you followed the steps in this webinar, you should be well on your way with establishing business credit. Check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel for other tips, including ones about setting up your business credibly. It's important. Now get started right away. And keep going. Building business credit is a never-ending process that can take you and your business to the deepest depths of business success. Contact us today to learn more.